Dennis Kutri, we immediately after Ebb Fleet 4, Concord 1. How pleased are you with that result? Oh, very pleased. Uh, I think very important for us today that we got the um, equaliser before half time. That was crucial because you could see they were slowing the game down from the first minute. But uh, we didn't get distracted. We just uh, stayed patient. Uh, we spoke about in half time what we could, could do better or what we have to do better in the second half. And second half was just a joy to watch. Every aspect of the game in the second half came alive, didn't it? In the first half, it just didn't seem to come together, maybe because of the opposition's style of play. They wanted to press us high, and I said it's nowhere near possible for them to do it over 90 minutes, so we just need to be patient. And you could see when we scored our goal, it again was a pressing situation from the opponent. We broke their press and we could go forward and score straight away from there. So I tell you, week in, week out, I'm happy if they press us so they can come and press and we get more and more chances. That's good. And they didn't stop it in the second half. They tried for 90 minutes or so credits, uh, credits to them that they tried for 90 minutes to press us. But obviously it was a big favour for us because uh, we could put four in the back of a net. And before we scored the second one, I don't know how many chances we already had. Maybe three, four, five, I don't know. Where you think like hopefully it's not that day, but then... Uh, was, as I said, especially second half, joy to watch. In, in the end, it was the old firm of Bingham and Pollyon that uh, did the business. They scored the goal. But as you say, the chances were coming from everywhere, weren't they? Yeah, they were from everywhere. And we played a good game in, in every single position, especially in the second half. Um, they couldn't touch us anymore. And this was uh, outstanding. I'm really happy because, as I said, even when we had tough times, we don't need to be worried about our strikers. They will score their goals. Even Sheck had chances. And, played a good game for us again, so he was always um, there to, to, to get uh, balls and to, to receive balls and bounce the balls back and in the centre of, of, of midfield then later in the game where he had a few situations where he just bounced it and we could go forward, so this was very fluid and um, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of them at the moment. Um, what did you think of Billy Clifford's contribution in his first game? Outstanding. Um, he could uh, get a penalty for me uh, from where I could see it was definitely a pen. Uh, then uh, get a shot on the crossbar. We will get him on the score sheet because he has not scored enough goals at Heaven. But this takes time. You can see he's not used to be in the box. He's not used to be with us. But impressive because he wants to be on the ball and he makes something happen. So he's for us, he's a perfect fit. That's what I said. We do something if it makes sense. This is definitely something what makes sense. Without being stretched as a club or whatever, this was a perfect deal for him and a perfect deal for us. So just really happy about that. How did that deal come about for you? Were you alerted late that he was available? No, not really. So we were uh, pretty early involved in this um, whole situation that there might be a possibility for us um, for whatever reason. Um, but uh, if he is available, if he's a free agent, we need to grab him because he's, um, apart from my team, he's the best midfielder in the league. If I can get the best midfielder in our league and he's available against the is someone who's very close with us on the table on top of it. So, I don't know, if you can make a story out of it, this is maybe a great story for us. He never gives the ball away, does he? He's very, he looks after the ball, really. He treats it like a bag of gold. Yeah, as I said, I don't say it um, for no reason that he's the best midfielder in the league. That's how it is. Apart from my, my team and our players, which we have, for me, he's the best midfielder. So, it's a perfect fit. Now, next week, of course, you entertain his old club, Hampton and Waterloo, will come to Stonebridge Road. Yeah. He's going to be playing for you, and I'm sure you're much happier that he's playing for you than playing for them. Yeah, 100%. And even if we don't pick him next week, well, we will make a decision during the week because it would be massive pressure for him. And he was with them for two and a half years, so I don't need to put a player under massive pressure. Um, so we will see how the week goes. But um, we are in a good place at the moment. We just need to um, stay patient. We just need to know our places, where we are, where we want to be and where we have to be. And that's fine. And as I said, with this second half today, um, I'm very, very pleased. We speak to some of the senior players like Josh Wright after games and we ask, you know, what have you got to do now for the rest of this? And it's just to take one game at a time and be focused on that. And that's your philosophy, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. It's always like, oh, so boring, but you can't get too far ahead because if you don't make sure you get the... We have the momentum and we've got the wins and now we have, I don't know, four or five in a, in a row again and everyone thinks like yeah here we go but we had to spell in the summer and then in winter time everyone was thinking like we get relegated so um, this is never changing we need to make sure that we that we take our chances when they come and if we have a chance to win a game let's go and win it and then we can go to the next one Josh agreed with me when we spoke on Tuesday after the Dulwich game that you seem to have recovered your identity as a team, as a club, that you had earlier in the season. It seems to have all come back, but perhaps even a little better than it was. 
yeah, we will see. So it's uh, the next game ticked off now, and we will see how it is next week. We have a, um, I don't know, top of the table clash, uh, first against second or first against third, whatever it is. So this is um, a massive game for us and for them as well. Um, maybe they will put it under one of their last chances because it's not many, 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 many games. So they need to win this game. Uh, and we want to win this game. And this is a massive difference if you need to or if you want to. And um, if they come, we will be prepared 100%. We know exactly what we can expect from the first game. And we will, will be ready for that. But uh, again, so we just need to make sure that we are ready for the next game because the momentum is there. And um, it's always better to have the winning feeling than not have this winning feeling. It'll be a great game for the fans again, won't it? 100% will be great for everyone and we just need to make sure that we deliver the basics in the right way and then we can see where we are after the game. Thank you very much for talking to us and good luck next week. Thank you.